Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Harmony on this very snowy realm, man. How you doing? Yeah, it's looking a little bit wintry today for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is. It's not like we log into this pack and it's winter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I can't help but look think you're uh, you're looking you're looking a little bit like you've lost your gear again. <laughs> uh, I have got no idea what you're on about. I totally didn't <laughs> leave the freaking thing on after the last episode's recording like a buffoon. Yes, well, well, oh well. Well, at least you have been doing a little bit of grinding for gear in the meantime, and you've got yourself a uh, a couple of a couple of new toys to be playing with. And the axe of champions is soulbound, so it still remains in your <laughs> possession. That's that's uh, the th that's the thing I care about the most. <laughs> apparently, is whether or not you still got this axe. You're telling me, man. So yeah, I've got a diamond sword as well, which is also got soul bound and durable to be unlocked so you know silver linings and everything also got a legendary pair of boots with two attributes on it as slowly well. but surely we're outfitting you with all of the soul bound gear so that when you die in these silly afk situations <laughs> you will just keep all of your stuff if we can make soul bound potatoes for you that'd probably be a good idea as well <laughs> only when i die do i become stronger <laughs> <laughs> anyway right let's uh, let's get a quick sleep so that we can get rid of the snow lovely though it is and we're going to get started on today's project, which I think is going to be a little bit more work on this freaking lovely town we are putting together. I'm, I'm uh, more excited about this thing every time we log in. So uh, what do you say we do some more work on it? Sounds like a plan. So my plan is to go ahead and try to replicate the railing and path design all the way around this place just to mm. like, encase it a bit more, give it a bit more feeling. Yes, so you're going to be working right at the top of the plateau where all the rich folks live with that uh, that nice stone brick design with the foliage poking out with the glowstone and everything. I think we should have all of the supplies. I don't think we really need to go hunting for too much stuff. And we have a glowstone trader right in the middle of our village now, so we can always go yeah. to the priest if we need a little bit more. I'm thinking about going into the walls of the cliff halfway up where we built the path in the last episode and probably working on a couple of maybe facades for houses in there, if not actual full kind of interior houses. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so by the end of this video, it should look like a lot more people live here. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. And yeah, what you were saying about the top, you know, yeah, it'll be at the top where there's sheer cliffs and... Fall death by fall damage. Yeah, well, well given your fall damage stat these days, I'm uh, not entirely certain. But yeah, see if you can fall into the waterfalls a couple of times just to uh, maybe minimise the amount of damage you're going to be taking. And and let's face it, that, that balcony all the way around halfway up is basically your safety net now. So That uh, is true, that is true. With that said, I could see my way to potentially lending you a pair of wings if you needed them because uh, these ones don't have my name on them or anything so uh, so maybe mm -hmm. if you're going to be working up there more maybe you should have the elytra and we can uh, swap out every now and again if you need it and I promise I won't AFK with it. I scout on. <laughs> I've got my hand in the air right now. I won't if, do it. If only we could make Elytra Soulbound, man. If only. <laughs> but uh, there you go. I'll 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 give Ooh, you that for now, and I'll I'll go and grab my diamond chest plate just in case. Because uh, despite the fact that we we've pretty much mob proofed this place to the extent that we need to, I'm always a little bit paranoid about mobs when I'm building. So <laughs> time to get some armor on the go. Sounds like a plan to me. Right, I've just put a regular diamond chest plate There's away. A spare one uh, in there. Uh, I'll hmm. see if I have. Ah, yes, I do have a, a a a decent one stored up in here. A nice enchanted one. So uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've worn a chest plate here. To be honest, it's been a lighter <laughs> all the way since we uh, last went to the end. Yeah. Definitely got to do that again so we can get two pairs of wings. Yes, Maybe yes. Maybe a backup pair or two, you know. It, it is getting a little <laughs> bit old with you not having a lighter. let's be real. I think it's going to be uh, going to be a good idea to uh, to stock up on that stuff. But let's see. I, I'm thinking about build pallets for up there, and I kind of want to do some more stuff with stained clay. But we don't have a whole lot of clay right now, so I'm thinking maybe a quick trip out to one of those jungle biomes that has all of the stained clay in it in the biome bundle and seeing if I can pick up some supplies, maybe make those cliff houses a little bit more colourful. Kind of like they've, yeah. they've baked some clay that they found and they've kind of used that to, to decorate the walls and make everything look a little bit less like it's made out of wood and stone, you know? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. 
in which case I had better get going and uh, without <laughs> without the elytra it's going to be a bit of a <laughs> bit of a foot race to get there so I'm going to go off exploring and I will uh, let you guys know if I find anything fun in the meantime uh, I assume you're going to be all right getting to the top of the plateau and working on that and on my way to the mesa which I figured was probably the closest resource for getting hardened clay I came across <laughs> something that I realized that we completely missed and when I went back into the edit, I, I noticed this next to that tree that I said, oh, this is so nice where it kind of like comes out onto the beach and the leaves turn from gray to green. It's a freaking pirate ship in a house here. <laughs> 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 what the heck? Cannot believe we missed this. And this is the same kind of house that we discovered before. So it's just got the standard kind of stuff in here. It's got a little chest with some rotten flesh in it. You know, some pretty standard no, dungeon loot. Yeah. Dungeon loot. There's a skeleton's head up there. There's some bookshelves around. And I'm pretty sure these ships didn't have a whole lot in when we looked at them before. But this one looks a tad different. So I might, I might try my luck in this place. Yeah, sounds like a cool idea. Hopefully you can get yourself some cool stuff. We will see. I'll see. I'll hop into this. Oh, this one's got a, a hold of some kind. It's looking a little bit flooded. And there's... Oh, there's a jukebox in here. And <laughs> that's the treasure. Hey! I see how it is. Yes, well, I just picked up a music disc from the other loot chest. So uh, I guess we can have ourselves a little party. <laughs> yeah, you know how them pirates like to play. And it's with those on. banging oh. tunes. Exactly, the exactly. They're, they're, they're music pirates, aren't they? They're just, <laughs> just da downloading it from offshore. LimeWire, what the heck are those guys doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and LimeWire, man, those were the days. Anyway, oh. uh, I mean, days I did not participate in because... No, no, oh, no. <laughs> I've, I've no, no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, there's, a, there's actually a shipwreck just offshore as well, but uh, I might give that one a miss because there wasn't anything particularly spectacular in those and i'm going to continue on my uh, my quest for the mesa there's another house and a pirate ship just in the middle of the ocean oh there are two pirate ships in this one what there's, on earth what there's, there's like, like an invasion going on <laughs> apparently there is who knew that pirates were so common have, have these boats like i thought for a second that they were like interlocked they kind of oh there's a zombie coming out of the house hello are you the harbour master <laughs> <laughs> seriously this is just out in the middle of the ocean i'm gonna take a screenshot of this because this is pretty hilarious but yeah there are, there are two boats basically lined up side by side with a block between them and yeah. uh, and a zombie just came out of this hut <laughs> <laughs> how about you sir Hucha. there we go um direct, sir. do i bother exploring the hut yeah maybe i will Maybe I will. Uh, you never know. You might get a gold apple out of it. Yeah, know. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I might as well try my luck. Not a great deal of loot, though. A little bit of redstone, some rotten flesh, some wheat, a gold hey. horse armor. Not sure what anybody needs gold horse armor for out here in the middle of the freaking ocean, but there you go. <laughs> and I guess I'll bridge over to this ship. Why not? See Why what you got. not? We got stashed in the hold a furnace with some iron smelting in it somehow interesting yeah one ship that is smelting iron which isn't at all dangerous for a boat entirely made of wood <laughs> and another jukebox with the same music disc well <laughs> maybe we can set these up in the town and we can just synchronize our our music oh and there's another music disc in this one we could we could set up a record shop like <laughs> we we could we could not a bad idea actually thinking about it at long last, the Mesa comes into view. Oh, hey. exciting times. And this Mesa is actually made out of the fairly dull colours of clay. It's all of the the kind of white, grey and brown kind of colours, rather than hardened clay that you can dye. But I think I'm okay sticking with this as a colour palette. So we'll just make the, the houses out of relatively clay-coloured materials. I'll get back and it's snowing again. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Isn't this a lovely place? <laughs> At least we've got it some certainly is. some nice warming jacket potatoes to uh, to munch on. Oh, he's off! <laughs> he's off back <laughs> to the top of the cliff. How's it going up there? It's looking pretty good from down here. It's not doing bad. I do fear that I've made it like a couple blocks too tall. Like you might be able to see sort of the top of the dirt forming into grass just underneath it. Right, I feel yeah. like the dirt needs to go up directly underneath it i see i see i got you yeah maybe we need to just terraform a little bit up there or maybe put some wood down or something to make it look like it's supported i don't know we'll figure something out but uh yeah, yeah aside from that it is looking pretty top you've done a whole lot around there you're about halfway along the uh along the basin already 
Yeah, slowly but surely getting there. For my viewers, like, this keeps happening. There's like a weird snow layer just randomly floating it, and it keeps on <laughs> forming. It's so weird. It's so strange. Floating. It's almost as if the physics in Minecraft aren't completely perfect, and, you know, <laughs> 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 who, who could possibly accuse it of that? Oh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I have no idea. Oh, blimey. <laughs> But yeah, slowly but surely making progress. It is certainly looking like a nicer place to be. Uh, Sounds it's looking good, good to me. Sounds good. Right, I'm going to find my way up here somehow. I think I've <laughs> kind of shot myself in the foot with this walkway being all the way around there because my route up there on foot is no longer really applicable. <laughs> I need to kind of jump up the mountain a different way, but I think I can come at it from this side. And uh, yeah. I will deliver you a present momentarily. Ooh, a present. Now that sounds interesting considering Christmas has only just gone. Yes, well, it's, wow. still, it's still snowing, so it counts. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, that's true. That's so weird. I've noticed something. How the... I don't know whether it's because I'm using the top half of a slab, but snow doesn't form on top of it. Like, all of these stone slabs I've got going on up here, like the leaf blocks it's forming on there, but not on the stone slabs. Yeah, maybe just a slab thing. <laughs> Hashtag just slab thing. Just a slab thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it, it may be... Uh, it may be that it's just slab mechanics don't work that way. Like mobs, I think, don't spawn on top half slabs sometimes. Like a lot of the time they, they do, and bottom half slabs are the like the the definite way to keep them out. But I don't yeah. know. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it just doesn't quite work that way. Uh, where are you at? You're around here somewhere. It's I'm really, slowly making my way round. Really nice looking path though. I like the fact that you've worked with the terrain here, so you've got it coming down to the the cliff edge on this side. That's great. Yeah. This is, this is already feeling like a, a nice walk through a kind of country park or something where they've got a nice footpath. Like a UK B road. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice and peaceful. Right. Well, uh, I'm oh, here to liven things up a bit because, uh, oh, well, it's, uh, <laughs> perhaps a bit of a grim piece of music to put on. How about this one instead? There you go. Ah, cat. That's Look, what you want. Cat. Yes. All right, I'm going to find a waterfall to jump down into, and I'm going to get started working on those houses. I'll see you later. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Uh -huh. Land it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, so good. Right. <laughs> that so rarely happens for me first try. All right, uh, I reckon I'll probably start in the middle here, and uh, and we'll go from there. It can, it can be nicely framed by these two trees, actually, so that's quite a, uh, oh, yeah. quite a good idea, I think. Right, I'm going to get on with this. How's oh, the path hello. going? Look at you down there. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? I can't hello. see you. Hey, oh, there I'm he is. <laughs> there he is. Just poking out there with your baked potato in hand. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There we go. I can oh. see you a little bit better now. That, that, that's, that's looking good, though. The path is looking pretty top from, uh, from what I can see. So uh, yeah, keep at slowly it. Slowly but surely. The problem with making this out of the white hardened clay is that this house now looks like a bloke with a unibrow. <laughs> if I put if I put a couple of put a couple of pieces of of the darker clay in here, like yeah. or even just leave it like <laughs> come down here and look at this <laughs> for a second. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, doesn't this look like somebody's tried to draw Mumbo to you? <laughs> yeah! All I need yeah, to do like, is... Like a prehistoric Mumbo. Just kind of have, have the, have the moustache kind of thing going on like this. <laughs> oh, brilliant. You know what? I might keep this, you know? Like, silly though it is, I think this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be Mumbo House right here. <laughs> That's that's amazing. We'll go with 1970s. that. <laughs> yeah. It's probably got the uh, yeah the the mustache going on. Right, I'll uh, pop a little bit of little bit of hardened clay in there. <laughs> right, Mumbo House. It's it's a thing. It's it's happening. It's a thing. That's brilliant. Well, you know, he's like one of the kings of Minecraft. You can't not. I'm, I'm making the mustache a little bit more bushy. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally in this case. I'm doing what I said I wouldn't do and doing some stuff on the interior. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've, I've gone down that road. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to do a fireplace in here, but I can't remember whether or not we've got fire tick on or off. And I, yeah, I have like a, there's a, a good space for a hearth, but just having some glowing coals in there instead of an actual fire would probably suit this place a little better. Yeah, yeah, I get you. 
So maybe that's something to look into. Maybe not right now, though. We'll uh, worry about that a little later. <laughs> I actually really like this. It's basic, but it's good. Kind of basic. Like it's it's got like a it's got the right kind of vibe for the area. I think. Yeah. Well, sometimes simpler is better. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I kind of wish it had actual windows, but at the same time, I think it's kind of cool that it's just tucked away like this and it can feel cozy on the inside because it just seems to be the one room right now. And obviously I haven't done a great deal of it in terms of the structure of it. But then yeah. all you'd have to do is walk out your front door and you've got all this fresh air and the open sky and everything. You get this fantastic view down into the what is right now a very snow-covered village <laughs> and uh yeah i think i think people people in this kind of house would they would be used to the mining life so they'd be used to things being a little bit dark and as long as it was cozy and warm then they wouldn't mind too much yeah so that's how things are looking right now what do you think I am liking that. I like that you've maintained the face. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, that's looking good. It's still got a bit of a face. I'm not entirely sure what purpose that serves, if any. But a uh, little bit of a little bit of a chimney type thing. Yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking of. That's that's where like the fireplace could go, and and even like a little bit further on, we can make chimneys sort of coming out of the side of the mountain, so that obviously if they had a fire in there, all of the smoke would just be channeled out and would kind of <laughs> yeah. come off up there which would be kind of interesting in a way to see how how the people on the top of the plateau thought of that when they had all of the smoke coming up from the mines below i wonder yeah. how they'd feel about that <laughs> but there you go so uh yeah this is this is the kind of thing i'm going to build probably along the whole side of this cliff they're not all going to look like faces <laughs> so let me <laughs> let me clear that up right now that was entirely a coincidence and it just turned out but uh oh, man. going back to our rushmore idea <laughs> yes it almost is it almost is except for some reason mumbo instead of either of us i'm not sure how he's how he's managed to work his way into this series as well but never mind anyway mm. we uh we can we can get doing some more of those in a future episode for now i probably want to help you out with the uh the supports for for this balcony you've been building up there because it's looking really great and I want to help out with that. Yeah, yeah. So I was just thinking something simple along the, along the lines of maybe just cobble walls, you know, rather similar to what we've got going on here. Yes, kind of like we, like what we've been doing with the fences down there and just yeah. kind of make it look a little bit even more sturdy than this because uh, we definitely don't want any of the rich people falling down here, do we? So, <laughs> <laughs> right, I, no. I have a ton of cobble in here from clearing out a bunch of this mountain face so i will make a ton of cobble walls and we'll uh, we'll see what we can get up to all right man so how about it we've got some supports going on the uh, underside of the top pathway it's looking pretty good i decided also to put some dirt underneath it to sort of round it off yes yeah i think a little bit of terraforming needed there i think it just like it, it overhangs a little bit too much and you can see the snow on the blocks below it which looks kind of yeah. strange but uh all in all i think this is a fantastic effort the, the supports out there look pretty cool some of them are tucked away some of them are showing a little bit more and we can work on those as we go but for a first yeah. pass i think it's looking pretty great i also noticed that from down here you can't quite see that that house has a bit of a face going on so uh, <laughs> i think that's that's probably for the best I reckon. But yeah, this place is really coming together. I'm liking the progress we've made today. Yeah, man, it's looking brilliant. It's sort of, it's, it's, it's encompassed the build just a little bit more, this bottom basin area. I yes. don't know, it just feels, I don't know, I'm getting some, I'm getting some good inspiration from this to do more down here. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we can work on developing stuff down here as much as we develop it up there. And uh, all in yeah. all, it's going to look fantastic when it's done. It certainly is. But for now, I think it is time for a well-deserved break and for the end of the episode, my friend. Yes. It's been a while. We've, uh, we've been working at this for a... <laughs> a good long while so uh so thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget of course to leave a like on the episode if you guys have enjoyed it because we really appreciate it it helps keep the series going it helps us know that you guys are enjoying this stuff and let us know in the comments what you think of today's builds because uh yeah excited to hear what you guys have to say anything for, for el and there yeah, anything <laughs> Professional yeah. outro, there it is, boys! <laughs> exactly. This, 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 is, <laughs> this is how you can tell I've been building stuff for a while. Anything else to add before we wrap things up? Uh, yeah, that uh, brains are fried. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, brains. a big old like rating would be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for that, my friends, it is time for us to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate your continued support. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.
<laughs> you know, that reminded me of the bit in Johnny English where he accidentally gives the guy the muscle relaxant. <laughs> it would be funny. Oh. It, it would be funny if it wasn't so. <laughs> 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 oh, so good, so good. <laughs>